So what's up, guys? Jermaine here. Welcome back. Um, I want to talk to you guys about Warren Buffett, who is now finally making some plays, but is a bit different than what he normally does, and is very interesting, in my opinion. So uh, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. Subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And let's get right into this. So uh, Warren Buffett of Berkshire Hathaway buys a stake in Japan's five leading trading companies. Now, before we dive into this, uh, I want to give you like some little backstory on this and why this is actually very, very interesting. Now, Warren Buffett has been trading since uh, in the stock market since he was a young boy. Like he's been investing and it started with Coca-Cola. He's kind of stayed always with American companies. Like he's never, as far as I've ever seen, invested in companies outside of America. But lately he's been kind of doing things very oddly and very strange, according to a lot of us here in, you know, the investment community. You know, during the pandemic, Buffett didn't really buy anything at all. He actually sold and lost money. And if you know Buffett's two rules, rule number one is don't lose money. And then rule number two is don't forget rule number one. But he sold out all the airlines and lost money. And then during the pandemic, with the bottom of it, when we just had this huge drop and huge sell-off, he bought nothing. And then now it shows that he is buying. But before he even started buying overseas, he actually bought into something that he's always been against and never wanted to put any money in, even when people asked him about that over and over, and that was actually gold. So if you don't know, go, um, Warren Buffett actually owns a gold mining company now. And this was before the news came out now that he actually owns um, equities in the Japanese market, which is oddly strange but could make a lot of sense if you put it in perspective. Now, the thing is what a lot of people have been saying over and over and what it kind of seems that Buffett has always been thinking for a while is that American equities are way overvalued. This is something a lot of people keep saying, even though the stock market keeps going up and up, we're hitting record highs, even during the pandemic, it kind of doesn't make sense at all. But our stock market just keeps growing and keeps inflating. And a lot of people keep saying these numbers don't make sense and that our market is overvalued. And then when you see things like this, what we're about to get into with Warren Buffett now buying overseas, which he's never done before, kind of makes you think, are we overvalued? And especially in Japan, where he decided to buy also, which I'm going to tie it all in together, which actually I'm thinking does make a lot of sense. So let's dive right into this. So they say, you know, 90 is the new 70. And in Warren Buffett's case, that may be true. The chairman and CEO Berkshire Hathaway announced today on his 90th birthday that his company has acquired a slightly more than 5% stake in each of the five leading Japanese trading companies. Now, I'm going to get into a minute on why Japan may make a lot of sense. Now, these companies are, now excuse me if I mispronounce any of these, are the Echo Corp, Marabu, Marabin Corp, Mitsubishi Corp, I mean, we all know that, uh, Mitsu and Company, and Sumitomo and Corp. Berkshire said it acquired these holdings over roughly 12 month period through regular uh, purchasings on the Tokyo Stock Exchange. So he didn't get any special deals by going to Japan and saying, hey, I'm gonna invest in these companies or going to these companies directly. He bought these on the open market like anybody else could. So this was done over roughly a 12 month period um, again, on the Tokyo Stock Exchange, based on Friday's closing for the trading houses, a 5% stake in each would be valued at roughly $6.25 billion. Now, the Japanese trading companies known as Sogo Soshoa are conglomerates that import everything from energy, metals, to food, textiles, and resources scarce in Japan. 
Now, that all kind of goes with, you know, Warren Buffett's investing style. He likes, you know, those kind of things like energy, you know, stuff like that, food, things that he knows is going to affect consumers and consumers are going to need, you know. So the funny thing is on why Japan, now if you don't know, Japan hasn't seen any real growth in a long time. It's pretty much traded sideways. If you look at their equity market, it's traded sideways and really hasn't gone anywhere for a while. And maybe Warren Buffett is starting to see something in Japan that he can't see here to where their markets may now be considered undervalued and see growth in them as an emerging market. So that may make sense why he's not buying any equities here because, again, he may not see any good deals and thinks everything's overvalued, which is a lot of thing, a lot of what a lot of Wall Street people are saying is that our markets is overvalued. But he may see deals over in Japan because, again, their market has been trading sideways for a long time. So now, you know, he's um, investing in these companies. So now for Buffett, the move... Is no quick trading play. Berkshire says it intends to hold the investments for the long term and that it may increase its holdings in the companies up to a maximum of 9.9% depending on price. Berkshire also pledged to make a purchase beyond a 9.9% stake in any of the companies unless given approval by the trading company's board of directors. Now, in describing its intentions for the investment for the trading houses, Berkshire pointed to its history of long-term passive holdings like companies like Coca-Cola, American Express, and Moody's, which each span multiple decades. So, you know, it goes back to like what I was saying before where Buffett likes a certain sector, he has a certain style of investing where he likes to, you know, invest for the long term. So if he's looking at Japan now, which a lot of people have stayed away because, again, you got no growth over there for years. You, it's just Your money was just kind of stagnant, just sitting there doing nothing because they had no growth. It, it traded sideways for a long time. Maybe he sees that it's about to break out. It may can happen, especially, you know, in the news coming out that Buffett is now going over there. And what happens, tends to happen, is a lot of people, they react off of what Buffett does. As you remember, when he started selling out of the airlines and it became public news, everybody started selling out of airlines and the airlines just started crashing. Now, thankfully the airlines never went bankrupt, but it's still a possibility one of those could. But anyway, back to this. Berkshire also said that despite its large yen dominating bet, it would have little exposure to currency fluctuations because it holds 625.5 billion of yen dominated bonds. That is 5.93 billion in uh, American money. Uh, that will mature in various dates from 2023 through 2060. So, I mean, it kind of seems that Buffett is betting on Japan that it may be growth and it may be time to, I guess, you know, invest in other markets, which is a lot of people are saying. You know, I've been hearing that a lot out of JP Morgan a lot that, um, you know, to look into emerging markets overseas because, again, a lot of the notion is that uh, what a lot of people are saying that American equities are overvalued you know just a fun fact before i let you guys go here um as of friday if you take the tech sector of the united states like apple facebook amazon google netflix those companies combined are worth more than the entire european market as a whole so just something to you know think about so let me know what you guys think about this if you guys are going to be investing in any uh, Japanese companies, are you gonna actually dump some money into these? For me, as for now, it's a no unless you know I get to do my research and find something that I really like. I don't really go chase stocks based off of what others are buying. I do my own research and something you should do too. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comment section below what you guys plan on doing if you guys are gonna follow this trend, investing in other markets overseas. If you think 
the American market is overvalued. Let me know. Again, if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. I greatly appreciate it. It helps out with the algorithm tremendously. And until next time, peace.